sounds over Sam. I know. <laughs>
Um, and then I'm gonna put the steak in the oven. So the steak is all marinated and I'm about to add the onions on top to give them a flavor and then I'm gonna add a little bit of butter. And then I'm gonna pop it in the oven. Okay, so now I put the onions on top and then I put the butter. It may look like a lot of butter, but it's really not because it's gonna melt down and then slide onto the pan. And I'm back outside, about to put this chicken on the grill. And it's freezing, by the way, people. Oh, yeah. Now, I'll let this cook. Hey, Sam. <laughs> King, what'd you say? I want to feed the fish. You just fed, you just fed the fish. <laughs> I, want, I want to feed the fish. You just, so that's coming along, people. Mm -hmm. So, when cooking your greens and your turkey, your turkey leg, you want to make sure that it's falling off the bone. That's when you know it's almost ready. Okay, so now I'm flipping all of my chicken breasts. Try not to poke the meat because if you poke it, you'll make it dry. You don't want. Okay, so somebody just said that they never cook their steak in the oven. I feel like cooking a steak in the oven is like the best way to do it, is because it'll cook all the way through and it won't be dry and it won't be. Okay, so someone just asked how long should they keep the steak in the oven for? Me personally, I like my steak to be medium well. So look at this guy. So someone just asked, why do I put butter on top of my steak? Butter is just basically another flavor. Um, and it's just good. Cook with it. I put butter on everything. So I'm in the freezing cold right now. But the chicken is almost ready. Yeah. Okay, you guys. You see how the butter has now melted into the pan? So now the steak will then suck up all the seasonings and the butter to make it juicy and and in exactly 35 more minutes, the onions will then have cooked and he'll be ready to serve. It's lit. Now, King, no, he does not come outside without no shoes on. He played too much.